So we have a bruise free program that we sample the potatoes at least every hour. We collect samples from each piece of equipment and also out of the bin and we put them in a hot box at 100 degrees for 24 hours and then peel them and uh, see what our bruise free numbers are and, and go from there, fix where we find problems. It's important not to have uh, bruised potatoes. Any pathogen can get in through a, a break in the skin or a bruise. You want to properly sanitize your equipment between seed lots. So proper healing, so you want to cure the tubers. It's essential in the first few weeks for storage and that can reduce tuber soft rot bacteria as well as other diseases in general. The one thing to remember about these bacteria is that cold temperatures will not kill them. We pressure wash the whole warehouse and disinfect it in the summer. Good ventilation system. The storages are air conditioned and uh, the humidity is controlled. They have humidicells to control the humidity and uh, but big coils for the air conditioning. Our storage is all clean during the summer. We power wash every warehouse. We wash all the walls and disinfect the entire storage. Along with that, you'll notice that there's wood lining the walls that allows for air circulation between the main wall and where the potato pile. We have fans for ventilation, humidifiers for moisture, and then that is actually a ventilator down the center of the pile for air as well. They try to make sure they do not drop the potatoes any more than six inches. They try to make sure they're as close to the piles as possible, whether it's the windrow we're putting into the windrow or my dad loading into the truck. The first step towards effective disease management is always proper diagnosis. Management practices for Dickey and Pectobacterium are the same, so anything you're doing will likely reduce incidence of these diseases as well as other diseases in potato production. You can't completely eliminate disease, but you can help reduce disease and uh, increase your yield at, at the end of the season.